Verse 186 In a mirror, in water, in an eye, in a vessel, and on a gem, images are seen, but in them there are no images anywhere to take hold of. So these would be all the surfaces that in the ancient world would have been able to carry reflections. And when we read this verse, that's what we think. Yes, all these things are just reflections. But that's missing the point. The point is that these reflections have no substance. What we're seeing as images have no substance. They have no reality behind them. They are insubstantial. They are not in themselves reality. And the point here is that all of reality is like this. All of what we take as reality is like this. We could describe it as reflections, reflections of consciousness, and then we can get into all that way of thinking. But that's not the point. The point is, what we take as reality has no intrinsic reality any more than these reflected images do. What we take as reality has no intrinsic substance. This is what's pointed out in the next verse. Verse 187 Like a mirage in the air, so is a variety of things mere appearance. They are seen in diversity of forms, but are like a child in a barren woman's dream. The simile of the barren woman's child is quite common, although here it's relegated to the dream of the barren woman. But normally the simile doesn't relegate it to a dream, it talks of the barren woman's child. This is a notion which we can construct through words but has no reality whatsoever. It's inherently contradictory as is our conventional understanding of reality and how we perceive that reality. So all appearances The variety of appearances, the diversity of forms, it isn't simply that they're like the barren woman's child in a dream. They're like all objects in a dream. In a dream, consciousness gives these forms reality. The dream is real for as long as we're in it. Consciousness doesn't stop in dreams, it carries on in waking. In waking, we like to say that everything is real, this is reality. But we can wake up from this as well and come to the realization that what we've taken as reality is nothing more than the play of consciousness once again. The player has got lost in the toys. And when we realize this, we can once again come back to the player, come back to consciousness. This is what the teaching is about. This is what the teaching is reminding us of. It's reminding us of the player. Reminding us of what is doing the dreaming. It's reminding us of what is giving everything its reality. 
its apparent reality. It's reminding us what's behind this diversity of forms. It's what is here. It is what is hearing this. It is consciousness. It is pure awareness. So we need to be reminded of this. And this is what the teachings are about. This is what the Buddha's Mahayana teaching is about. And he describes these in the next couple of verses, which I'll look at in the next video.